Okay, so I decided to take a wee bit of a break from the smoky series and the grey tones and the cool tones, but we will be getting back to it. I'm definitely wanting to continue on with my smoky series, but I just wanted to do something a wee bit different. And I just wanted to create a bit of a bit of a khaki moment and I'm loving it. I love, love, love this colour. I think it's so so nice. So definitely continuing tomorrow and the rest of the week I will more than likely be continuing on with my smoky series. I really hope this isn't too much of a jump scare. <laughs> but I'm going to start off with primer. I'm using the She Glam Birthday Skin. I'm taking the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I'm going to be taking my Fake Tan shade because this, no, is not it. In the shade Punjab. So I'm also going to be taking the Soul Body Face and Body Bronzer. So I'm going to do my foundation first. So do keep in mind it's going to be a wee bit too dark for me obviously. And then I'm going to be using this on my chest and hands. Tonight is thick tan night. <laughs> I was going to do my thick tan last night but I realised that I still need to give my body an extra wee scrub. So that's why my hair is wet. Guys, I had a shower this morning. So I'll be doing my tan tonight. Very boring, I know, but I'm wanting to do something with khaki, like a khaki colour. I think I'm inspired by my outfit today. I was actually flicking through some makeup looks that I had done so many months ago, if not a couple of years ago, and there was like a lot of like khaki tones and colours that came up. There was a particular makeup look I had done with this palette here from Be Perfect Cosmetics. This is the Dream Big Manifest palette. Unfortunately, it is discontinued. The worst thing that they've ever done. Like, why? Bad business move, be perfect. <laughs> Anywho, get distracted. <laughs> but no, I had done like a really nice like khaki cut crease situation with this palette. And yeah, it was nice and I really want to recreate something like that again. Um, including one of their like really nice khaki pigments. Oh, it's such a beautiful colour. But I just want to do something simple. A really, really simple khaki khaki colour on the lid. <laughs> so Hustle, as you can tell it's well loved because it is the most beautiful like green khaki colour. So how was St. Patrick's Day for everybody? I must be the only Catholic Northern Irish person that does not celebrate St. Patrick's Day and I never have and I don't think I ever will. <laughs> So I'm more than likely going to be explaining this more difficult than what it should be because it's literally just packing one shade onto the lid. <laughs> anyway, she performed me a wish, but I usually like to start um, just packing on that colour within the crease. I just kind of like perfecting the crease and everything a wee bit before I go on just pack on the same shade on the lid. But I always like to start at the outer corner as well and take my time packing and blending. Using circular motions, bringing it up to the crease, the brow bone. Obviously not too high up, or you can obviously bring it up as high as you want to. But I always like to start at the outer corner. Taking a slightly smaller brush now, going into of course the exact same shade. And I'm going to now focus this on the inner corner. Taking a slightly smaller brush to obviously be a bit more precise with my blending. And placement of blending. So yeah, as I mentioned at the start of the tutorial there, I am of course going to be continuing on with my smoky series. I just wanted to break it up for a wee while. <laughs> Although yesterday, in yesterday's tutorial, I used the palette but I wasn't um, like titled or aimed within the smoky series. Um, but I still want to... Oh, damn it, I should have. Fuck. <laughs> Anywho. Um, but no, I'm going to be continuing on with the smoky series this week. So... By all means, please do let me know in the comment section any more tutorials you want me to do with that palette. By all means, let me know. And I'll get right to it because there's still, oh, there's still so many makeup looks I really want to do with this makeup palette. With that eyeshadow palette on this one, it's like so good. But here, ooh, somebody, and I really wish I could remember your name. But if you're watching this tutorial now, you'll know exactly who you are. And honestly, <laughs> catch it because you left me a comment saying in fact hold on I'll get the palette so I thought this was actually a really really good idea somebody had said for me to go back basically what I'm doing now with the smoky palette 
to do what I'm doing with the Rich palette. What a good idea, right? I don't think I'm going to do it with like all the other palettes from Beauty Bay, but basically what I'm doing now with the Smoky palette, I'm doing it with this palette. Warm tones. So I thought that was a really good idea. But of course, let me know. I'm more than likely going to do it anyway, but you know. I'm going to take a wee bit of green on this fluffy brush and I'm going to go around the edges and do a wee bit of a blending. Like I said, I usually like to make this more complicated than what it actually is, but this is the way I like to do it. But I'm going to do this blending before I pack on any shadow on the lid. <laughs> I always just like to go in and like perfect my blend. I spend more time blending than anything, of course, whenever I do my eyeshadow. So I always like to, I do like to take the time to actually perfect it. And then take an A, kind of like a flat packing brush. I'm just gonna now pack that shadow, that same green, just all over the lid. I was gonna keep this look completely matte, but you see this shade here, down below the shade that we're taking? This really beautiful, like olive green. How stunning is that color? Shall we put this all over the lids? The shimmer shade might be best applied with your finger, but I'm gonna try it first of all with this wee brush. I've been loving this brush recently for applying shimmer. It's actually from Be Perfect Cosmetics. It's the BP, BP, BPD03 brush. As far as I'm concerned, it's a concealer brush, I think. But it's amazing for actually picking up and applying shimmer shades. Because we're going over a matte as well, we might not get the best payoff. <laughs> I'm gonna try, I done my nails last night and they're like really long. So I'm gonna try it with my finger. Oh my god, I pray is that. <laughs> right. <coughs> right, this tutorial took a bit of a turn. So I have the two pigments here from Be Perfect, Pretty Green Eyes and Komodo. I'm thinking Komodo. Pretty Green Eyes is a wee bit too light, maybe. Let me see. Ooh. <laughs> right, where's my setting spray? So I'm gonna spritz my brush. No, I'm not. I'm going to dip into the product first of all. And just, oh, that pigment is unreal. A couple of spritz of the setting spray. I hate when this happens, but today I'm loving it. <laughs> I hate whenever I'm in the middle of a makeup tutorial and it just takes a turn. Usually it's a turn for the worst, but today it's a God-given gift. My eyes just remind me of Slytherin. I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and just do a wee bit of blend out of that crease. Pretty green eyes. God, I remember whenever that song came out. What a shit song. Hated it. Club Lab Classics. Oh my god, who remembers the Club Lab CDs? <laughs> uh, they just bring me back to my teenage years. <laughs> the very first Club Lab CD I bought was Club Lab 9. And I think I was, at the time, 15? No, I tell you, I, I would have been either 13 or 14. Okay, I'm loving this pigment that much that I can't, I can't stop. Someone come and stop me. Oh, you don't realize that though. Ooh, beautiful. 
So I'm going to put like a brown liner in the waterline. So it's going to be a wee bit softer than black. And I'm going to smoke out the lower lash line. I'm going to try this one first of all. I have the... Oh, this is very much a Be Perfect day so far. <laughs> I have the Be Perfect Cosmetics Pot It Gel. So gel liner this is the foxy one this is actually a really really nice like brown gel eyeliner by the way i've hit pan on it quite a bit but because i've been swiping back and forth it doesn't look like it um so that's sitting there but i first i'm going to try this cool liner from rimmel and i'm going to put this in my waterline bit of mascara these are quite nice wee fall flashes these are 3d full mink false lashes these are ones here and then i have these flux triple threat lashes i think I might go for these actually because they seem to be more flared out at the outer corner i'm having a bad eyelash day I hate, do you know what it is? I hate putting eyelashes on that I've never used before and they're not molded to the shape of my eye or something. I don't know, like this one is doing my knot. Like just stick up. For the skin, finishing it off, I'm gonna take a wee bit of the HMB concealer. I'm taking the tiniest bit of this cause it would, damn, I didn't realize that was so bright. Yeah, this isn't my shade at all. Um, this is SF0. <laughs> So I just need a wee bit of that, like, just a wee bit on the chin. And then I'm also going to take that same concealer to do my cream bronzer. So this is SFW, SF5W, sorry. I love this shade. The cream bronzer. And just all over the forehead. Let's go wild. I love a big old orange forehead, if you just haven't noticed. Just blend in that concealer out, just the tiniest wee bit. I'm not going to blend out fully for now. BK Beauty 109 brush, I'm going to blend out this cream bronzer. So if you have me on Instagram, you would have seen that me and Kyle have... <laughs> so basically we started renovating our main bathroom whenever we bought this house. Like before we moved into it, we had it kind of half somewhat renovated. And yeah, we've now actually started to like completely renovate it. Um, so if you have me on Instagram, you would have seen like the progress that we've made so far. It's completely gutted. I'll maybe put up some pictures of how it actually looks at the minute. So it's completely gutted. It got plastered there at the weekend. <sighs> Things are finally coming together. <laughs> but what else? So basically, we have everything bought for the bathroom. We have our toilet, we have our bath. Holy shit. <laughs> so basically we bought a freestanding bath and it's beautiful. And who knew that baths were so expensive. So we basically fell in love with a particular bath and it was well over a thousand pound. And then they had a sale. So we ended up getting this particular bath that we were looking at for ages for £400. Mint, right? <laughs> so that's basically what kick-started the renovations because we were kind of thinking, it's easy, <laughs> you know, we have this bath and this toilet now, where are we going to put it? <laughs> so that's what kind of, like, yeah, like really did kick-start the bathroom renovations because obviously we have our garage and this is where all of our bathroom things now are. And obviously Kyle uses his garage to work. Like he works in cars in his free time and does like mechanic gun on the side and just wee bits and pieces here and there. So obviously like that crap is all in his way. I'm so excited, I'm so excited to have another room ticked off, ticked off. <laughs> Cause this is a problem that me and Kyle have all the time is like we're just, we're too laid back. We're too laid back. And do you know what? It's not a bad thing. But we're just like, meh. It'll get done eventually. <laughs> and it's two years down the line and we still haven't got a floor in our living room. That's getting done next week. When's Easter? Basically on the Easter holidays, that's whenever we're getting the floor down in the, um, in the living room. <laughs> 
Oh, it's here. So uh, this is the She Glam. We liquid blush in the shade, is it Dolce Vita? It's a really nice color actually. I used this in yesterday's tutorial. I'm gonna apply a wee bit more actually. Noise. This is probably my favorite part of my makeup routine. I love just setting everything. <laughs> so this is the Katie Daly Perfect Powder. The new one from Be Perfect Cosmetics. I take the shade Vanilla. It's a really, really nice powder. It just does such a really good job of like really nicely setting your under eyes and just setting your whole face if you just use it for your whole face, whatever. And maintaining and keeping the brightness within the under eyes. But it just nearly gives like a filler fight to your under eyes as well. With me, I find because I bake, my under eyes are going to look naturally slightly dry anyway after I bake. But you see, once I use my setting spray, and like, as you know, I'm sure you have noticed, <laughs> I use a lot of setting spray, and that's why, because I go in with a couple of powders, obviously, and that just kind of bounces back my skin and kind of rejuvenates it again and kind of brings the hydration back and just soaks up any of the excess powder that may be lying on top of my skin, making it look cakey and powdery. And then I'm just left with flawless under eyes and this powder is beautiful. I have noticed that it has, I actually only noticed it maybe a couple weeks ago or something, that it has the tiniest, tiniest wee bit of like, it's not glitter, it's not glitter at all, but it's, it's got a wee bit of shimmer. <laughs> yeah, I want to say shimmer through the powder, but it doesn't show up on the skin or on the face or anything. And then pretty much straight away, I like to dust that off. Any excess that's on my brush, I like to just tap that over the forehead. Just enough that it's going to set my makeup in place and it's not going to move or crease throughout the day. But not enough that it's going to dull like the glow and the shine on my forehead. Just enough to slightly set it. If I give you the zoom in, you will obviously notice that my skin is looking quite dry. Because I obviously baked, and before I baked, I used this powder here to set my T-zone. But you can definitely see, especially around my mouth, and especially here, the powder has clung to like drier areas. And that's normal. This happens with every single set of powder that I use. But it's not until I set it. And I'll show you it. So just my way shearing. I'm actually running out of this. I do go crazy with my satin spray. If you do have oilier skin, com combination skin, combined skin, whatever, um, you might not be able to get away with this, but because I have dry skin, I'm, I can afford to get away with using this much satin spray over my powder. Can you see now how my skin doesn't look as dry? <laughs> Just a wee bit of highlight, nothing too crazy or too much. Still using this MAC one. Trying to get rid of it. Not rid of it, but trying to get through it. MAC Peaches Blush. Fave Modern Bronzer. Of course a really nice khaki look calls for a nice nude lip or like a really nice brown like a really nice like true brown but I'm gonna go for a nude because I'm original so it's CT yeah oh it was right there CTRL Colourpop I tried to find the nudest nude in my collection so the NYX soft matte lip cream Cairo
Okay, I'm gonna give you the zoom in. I love this makeup look, isn't it so nice? Look at me and my fringe. <laughs> it's honestly like, it definitely is a love hate relationship. There's some times where I'm like, oh yeah, like this is so nice, like from this angle love it and then from this angle i'm like no what are you for <laughs> but you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye